particular students today we are going to see the topic book sampling and professor k kalidas to handle the session for you so book sampling is also known as activity sampling or ratio delay study so it is a technique in which a large number of observations are made over a period of time with one or more group of machines processes or workers so any sampling techniques need lot of data so large number of observations are used to measure the working of the elements of a jar each observations are recorded at every instant and the percentage of observations recorded for a particular activity is the measure of performance of time or the percentage of time so the observations has been directly mapped to the time so it actually says what percentage of a day the person really spends in an activity so in a day how many hours is working so that has been indicated in terms of percentage by making lot of observations so what are the theories involved so it is statistical theory of sampling and probability theory so it is taking a adequate random samples for a sufficient period of time to construct an accurate picture of the system normally 500 observations will provide a reliable result and around 3000 observations and more will give you the accurate result so that much observations has to be periodically made the normal frequency distribution it explains the probability of occurrence of a chance event so every time we cannot do the same job at the same time so there is always a possibility of chance event some random event some random motion some random operation may come into the picture so this probability of occurrence of that event is been explained by the normal frequency distribution then confidence level the believeness of making the observation is something very constant how much the observation made is true to the depth of knowledge so that is the confidence level so what are the steps or procedures in the work sample so define the problem determining the objective and the activity should be measured so just educate all the workers that the study is going to be done and the, what is the objective of doing that then what is the accuracy limits for getting the ultimate figure so under what limits the study is going to be handled then make a pilot study to estimate the approximate occurrence of an activity then the number of uh, uh, observations and the desired accuracy it will just help the workers that the pilot study is going on so they will be used to such an activity of for sample so record the values from the pilot study then design the actual study then plan the events of uh, visiting the place in a shift or in a day or in a month so within a time period how many visits or how many shifts shifts of visit has been planned so that has to be decided then decide the approximate time interval and the path to be followed so in what way or in what uh, sequence of operation should i am going to visit the company or in what time period i am going to have an have as an interval between the operations so that has to be decided then design the operation record sheet with all the information then plot the data in the control chart so every operation has to be in the control chart so where you have a standard uh, 
level of performance. So the data which is falling beyond the limits indicates there is an abnormal situation or there is a chance even that is being occurred. Then check for the appearance of the data and the actual limit of error during the study. So at the end of conclusion of the study, just check for the accuracy of data. This is the observation sheet. So A, B, C, D, E, F indicates the activity. So A is working, B is not working, C is getting instructions, B is waiting, C is uh, talking to his co-workers, that is when some of is not in the case. So the visits are planned. So right to one, two, three, and two, the number of visits or a number of observations can be done. But the time of limit has been specified. So for every visit, five operators doing what type of activity. So that will be recorded in the observation sheet. So who is the observer and on what date he has visited. So it will be recorded in the observation sheet. So how to calculate the limits using the formula? So the formula indicates n equals 40 to 100 million speed divided by L squared. So n is the number of operations made per day. The percentage is how much percentage of time that has occurred, that uh, activity has occurred. That activity can be a machining or it may be talking to somebody. So it's an activity. So how many percentage of occurrence of the activity? Then what is the limit of the activity? So it is central control or stop? Say for example, out of 2,500 observations, then activity occurred for 1,200 times. So what will be the limit of accuracy and limit of error? So out of 2,500, we're going to have 1,200 uh, occurrence. So I'll be 80, 48 percentage of. So the limits can be calculated by just reversing the formula. So that will be equal to 2 percent. So from 46 to 50 percentage of time period, that activity is going to be after on a specified time. So what are the advantages? It involves less cost than the time study. It needs less training. It can take long operations. The advantages for group activities. So obviously there is no need of uh, timing devices. Then interruption of an activity does not affect the accuracy because since the number of observations are more, some observations during the interruption can be reduced. So this year, accuracy can be, okay. So day-to-day -day fluctuations can be avoided. It can increase the efficiency, entering all the possibilities. So in this lecture, we have seen what is work sampling, what is steps in work sampling, and the formula to calculate the accuracy and the error and the advantages of work sampling. Thank you.